Hey there, this is Dallin Seeger with Dallin Seeger Codes, and welcome to episode 7 of Making a DA in C Sharp. In this episode, we're going to be covering importing an audio file. Uh, so you may have an audio file uh, that was not uh, recorded via uh, this application we're making here, and we may want to import that. Uh, so we're going to be covering that today. So currently, uh, when we press play in our application here, uh, it's going to play the hard-coded demo file uh, that we recorded through this application that is stored on the desktop here. Uh, so if we want to import uh, a file, uh, we're going to cover that now. So we're going to want to go ahead and make a button, uh, which I just threw up here, and we can call it import. And uh, I did change the name to import button uh, for reference in the code. And let's go ahead and double click this and create a reference to it in our main.cs here. All right, so we have this button here. Uh, the import button and one of the things we're going to want to do first is let's go up to this uh, variable we have here uh, It's a string remember that uh, files and an audio audio files are stored as strings that contain the path to that file So let's actually change this from the demo file to the current file And so by default it can just point to that demo file or whatever uh, file we recorded Let's just fix all these uh, errors by renaming these and by default actually we should set this to null and just to prevent any errors let's do uh, if uh, the current file is null and let's just add a quick message box uh, just uh, informing that there is no audio file so now this current file will be null by default and if we record something uh, it will set that uh, string to the demo file that we record, uh, hard-coded uh, in the record method here. Um, and uh, let's allow the user to import an audio file to be played in the place of that. So when we click this import button, let's open an op open file dialog. You'll be familiar with your operating system's uh, version of that. Uh, so let's do open file dialog, uh, dialog. Perfect, and then we can just do dialog dot show dialog, and this alone, of course, if we press import, will open this. Uh, however, nothing's really happening. So currently, uh, when we press this import button, the uh, open file dialog uh, box will appear. Uh, nothing's happening though, but it's actually really simple to get this tied to our uh, the current file uh, variable that we have here. So we can actually just set the current file to dialog dot file name. So file name actually includes the path. And just for a little bit of uh, visual feedback here, let's add a label real quick. Just say current file. And let's go ahead and change this to uh, current file label for the name. And then here in our code, we can go ahead and uh, set the current files label text to, we don't want to set it to the file name. We want to set it to the safe file name, which will include the path. It'll just have the file itself. We can do current file. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. It should be working. So uh, currently there's no uh, file here, and on my desktop I do have um, an MP3. It's hiding behind here. Uh, so, and note this is an MP3. This will, should work with uh, pretty much any audio file, and the reason for that is we are using uh, in the play here, in our play method, we are using audio file reader, which is uh, universal. Uh, there is, of course, a uh, WAV file reader. Uh, but we are using audio file reader due to uh, it being universal like that. So we should be able to hit import. Let's choose this mp3 file and hit open. And it uh, displays the current file as uh, what we just selected. These nuts. <laughs> All right, perfect. So uh, as you can see, it does go ahead and play that file. So we can uh, s switch that around. Whoops. We can switch that to back to the demo here. Open. So I'm just going to start recording that now, and then we can go ahead and test these. Yeah, so that works perfectly. So now we can go ahead and hit import and change whatever file we're playing to uh, whatever we import here, just using this simple uh, dialog box and sending the string to the current dialog box's file. All right, so that was a fairly short video just covering the basics of importing a file uh, into your application. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it was helpful. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. This has been Dallin Seager Coates.